Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. Hopefully the week is starting off good for you. We're going to start it off good here with a market outlook video, the usual Monday market outlook. We're going to take a look at what could be going on this week in FIFA 21 with the road to the final set two, team two being out. Uh, talk about the market crash that is going on headed into Black Friday. And just stuff that is happening, right? There's player of the month possibility this week. Probably more um, road to the final SBCs and content. And at the end of this week, I want to talk about that a little bit. What we're expecting. Uh, because season one ends on Friday. And that means the possibility of new objectives. And possibly um, not icon swaps as I originally had thought. Icon swaps are actually in December. Um, but new objectives, a new season. And possibly, just possibly... Uh, a big time SBC uh, related to icons. So we'll be talking about that kind of stuff this week. Now, just to kind of bring you guys in on what is happening right now, squad battle rewards happened about uh, two hours ago when I'm recording this. Squad battle rewards happened, and it looks like, from what I am seeing, some of the stuff on the market that we looked at that was getting low has rebounded just a little bit. Not really gold cards, but some of the out of pack special cards have risen a little bit. This guy, in case in point, some of these rule breakers. I was getting Laporte tonight about three hours before squad battle rewards. This guy was 430,000 coins. I was able to sell him at a fluctuation back up to 470. And this is what I was talking about in the video earlier yesterday on Sunday afternoon, uh, late, uh, later Sunday is that a lot of these cards are still going to fluctuate around even though the market is very low and there's a lot of panic selling that's going on right now you're seeing some of these cards that are bouncing around because people are interested in them right they know these are live cards whether it's investors buying them up or it's just people that have coins now and they want to do something so they're going out and they're trying cards that is something that we are seeing, right? Griezmann's up about 20,000 coins from where he was, up 40K from his lowest. Salah is up, Klosterman is up, Davies is up. Um, some of these Europa League road to the finals that are still in packs, um, in Diddy is down. But um, mostly some of the rule breakers and out of packs informs that got really low today. Some of them have rebounded a bit. Some of them are still low, right? Pogba was down under 900. He's now back to 965. Uh, but other players like Podence is at his lowest. Teixeira is at 283, which I think is about his lowest as well. Um, Costa 390, that's pretty low. 500 for Mertens is decently low too. So a lot of these guys are going to continue to fluctuate. And one team of the week I want to look at is Walker. He was 540, now he's 575. So some of these guys are moving around, and that just means potential for you to make coins if the fluctuations are big enough, which they are. Holland was 130 earlier today. You saw two of them on my transfer list. I bought it at 130, sold them in the mid 140s. So just just find some players that are going to fluctuate around that are just uh, rare or just valuable. I was kind of surprised that Holland would move around that much, to be honest. Uh, but again, he's showing here at 140. This might be somebody that you can snag right around that 130 range, even on a bid right now or on an undercut. And then boom, you can probably sell that on a one to two hour swing towards the 145, 147 range, like with a shadow or something like that. So just be on the watch for some of that stuff in the first couple days of this week. It's going to seem kind of slow, probably on the market and probably content wise as well, um, as a lot of people are just going to be left to think and to ask the question. Is it time for me to buy my team? And that's why uh, I think you're going to see start of this stuff, some of this stuff start to bounce back a little bit. Now, icons got absolutely destroyed today as well. I was watching a lot of icon prices. This is one that stuck out to me as I was watching his price on the 59th minute. Uh, Baby Stoikov was selling at 850,000 coins during the weekend. Literally Friday and Saturday, this guy was 850K. I saw him. He's under 700K. That is ridiculous. It is ridiculous how much some of these icons have dropped uh, in price. It's crazy. Index icons on Footbin. This webpage right here is a great pace, place to see that drop. 110 points today, all the way down into 105 for the icon. So a lot of these cards are down a ton. You can check some of them here on Footbin and see that. Uh, but icons are going to be decent to trade with as well because, again, just the whole idea that people have panic sold their teams, right? A lot of people have, not everybody, but a lot of people have panic sold their teams. They have coins in the top left and they're going to want to do something this week in FIFA, right? They can do objectives, right? You can only do so much though um, until Thursday rolls around. Thursday is going to be an interesting day 
for Thursday flipping as well as in terms of will the market go up? Are people going to buy teams or are they still going to be scared to be buying cards? So we'll kind of tackle that when it comes to it, that to me depends on what other content comes out this week. But uh, quick flipping is going to be a way of life this week. I, I mentioned ones to watch cards in my video yesterday. Um, one that sticks out for me today is Gareth Bale because he was a basically him and David Brooks, I think was his name. Bale had one assist and was named by some websites as man of the match in the Ireland Wales game today. He was down to 190 post game. Now he's back up about 10K. This might be a card that you see rise a little bit into the hype on Wednesday for Team of the Week. Team of the Week this week is actually looking pretty decent. Uh, but there's more games that are happening early on this week. One guy I do want to point out is Leroy Sané. This would be a card I would keep an eye on uh, this week because this guy, I bought at 330, which I thought was pretty low. He was He's 350 right now. He was 317 earlier today. Uh, so these guys fluctuate a lot. This guy was 370, 380 before his game on, I think it was Saturday. So just watch out for these ones to watch cards because they have some international games. And some guys uh, like uh, Odegaard is one example that I keep thinking of. Odegaard doesn't play a ton for Real Madrid. He plays a decent amount, but he plays a lot for the national team. And that happens with a lot of the other players that are ones to watches as well. Uh, like Vidal, they get a lot more time, they get a lot more action and potential for inform uh, when they're on international break. So just kind of watch out for that this week. Team of the week could be spicy from what I've seen. Uh, maybe a Werner, maybe a Goretzka, depending on who they put in from that game. I heard uh, Mane, Wijnaldum could be in. So there will be some market movements around that kind of stuff as well. But again, in terms of content that we could see this week, I don't think we'll get any objectives. Uh, because you know we're at the end of the season this is a uh, promo is ending the road to the final set two packs if you're in, interested in buying any of those cards hazard jesus or sissoko kessi those guys are in packs until friday at 6 p.m uk november 20th so that's going to go all the way to friday that's going to be just a normal um i believe that's just a normal um, you know, two week promo. Usually what they've been doing with the set twos is they pull them out of packs a couple days early, but that does not look to be the case right here. So let's do one other thing and talk about SBC fodder, because this is something that has been going up on the market. And I can tell you why, because some people are saying that today on Monday could be a player of the month Mbappe. Now we don't exactly know that it's all up to the UNFP for the league one and the Bundesliga uh, for the Bundesliga vote for player of the month when those will be released. But I think Bundesliga would technically be released first and then league one would be released later based off the normal release timeframes um, and last month's timeframe. So we'll see what happens on that, but we could have one or two player of the month SBCs this week with Lewandowski and possibly Mbappe or Ben Yedder. Um, so that could be very interesting. And you can tell, and this is what I said earlier on yesterday's video was, you're going to see a lot of this high rated fodder start to go up. Now I'm kind of kicking myself right now because I did not finish the Hyunmin Sun SBC. And right now that SBC is about 60, not, not quite 60, but about 40,000 coins more expensive because a lot of these cards have gone up, right? 86s yesterday were 11 to 12K. Now they're 13 to 14. 88s are 28, 29,000 coins. 89s are 37K. A lot of people are investing in these cards because they think Icon SBCs and the Player of the Month SBCs that could come out this week are going to, uh, in fact, affect these prices. So the thing I want to talk about is a possible Icon SBC on Friday. Now, of course, this is something that would be very smart of EA to do. If they released a repeatable icon SBC on Friday, what that would do is, um, if it's the like base icon upgrade, that kind of SBC, that would take a lot of coins off the market. And in, in doing that, what they would do is take a lot of coins off the market and get people thinking about, hey, I just spent all these coins to do these upgrade SBCs, the base icon upgrade right before Black Friday, and then boom, it leaves you with no coins or less coins right before Black Friday, and then bang, a huge pack promo where you can spend FIFA points and get coins back in your club. That's, in my opinion, that's where EA could be coming, and they're what that could be their plan for this promo. So I want to keep that in mind as we head into Friday. The only thing that's going to make fodder rise that much this week is good value player of the month, Mbappe, a decent value player of the month, Lewandowski. I don't know if there'll be that much hype for that card and a base icon repeatable or some sort of repeatable SBC. If we get our first regular icon SBC this Friday, 
I don't really think that's gonna uh, jack up the fodder prices. I really don't because if it's not repeatable, you're not gonna see that sort of demand, continued demand for these, these fodder cards and they're not gonna go as high as they did last year. Everybody is looking. We looked at it in a video yesterday, right? We looked at Handanovich's 88 rated card. Last year went from 19,000 coins to 40,000 coins, but it was a repeatable SBC. And if it's just one or two icon SBCs that they put out for a single player, a base or middle icon, unless that icon is very cheap and it's a very big name player that a lot of people would want to do, like a Drogba, Zidane, you, get, you know the deal, right? A Cruyff, somebody that's a huge big name icon, um, that's the only thing that's really going to make fodder sky. So as fodder rises up this week, depending on what comes out, and if you see it spike one day because of a player of the month, I would consider maybe cashing out early. I know we said um, if you are still holding your investments that you bought before Premier League player of the month with Hyunmin Sun, I mean, you, you might as well just keep holding on to your fodder. I told some people this week, just hold on to it because it's going to go higher. And if you don't need the coins, then then why try to cash them out right now when you could see them rise up a decent amount And if you don't mind holding those cards. So just kind of keep that in mind this week. Fodder is probably going to keep rising unless we get tradable pack supply throughout the week this week. That would be something uh, that could make it drop a bit. But since I didn't do Player of the Month Sun, I'm probably going to be waiting until there's some sort of drop on that stuff. I might just have to wait a while to do Sun then um, to get that card on my club. We'll see. But fodder is rising, and that's fodder across all levels, right? And if we think about what is in the game to do this week, right? What is in the game to do? We have the 83 uh team of the week upgrade sbc that's like one thing that we have to do but 83s really aren't rising because there's no demand for this sbc because it sucks this sbc is terrible you're getting like 80 81 rated or below almost every time that you do this sbc so it is out for seven more days uh and you can technically stack them to get a team of the week one through six or current team of the week player from this. So that is one thing that you could do, but I don't see really, I don't think many people are going to be doing that after seeing how bad some of these were. So again, Cramrich expires today. That's why I've been thinking, Hey, it might be time. Uh, we might be getting a Lewandowski player of the month. And then of course, Niane expires in six days. So, uh, we'll see what happens with those player of the month. That's like the biggest question mark for me this week. Now for the rest of the market this week, right? Um, will we get any more SBCs? We might get one or two more player SBCs, maybe like a moments player. Um, cause we've had two actual road to the final SBCs, but maybe we will get somebody that's actually like a, like we had the Forsberg moments SBC, another either Europa league or champions league SBC card as a moments item could come out this week. Uh, maybe one or two player SBCs this week. And then the rest of the time, it's probably going to be little small packs, you know, kind of like this, right? A UCL rare player pack or a premium gold players pack, something like that. So we'll be kind of keeping an eye on that sort of stuff this week. It might be kind of a quiet week, right? But as we get later on into the week, again, we're going to be, ha we're going to have to watch uh foot watch on Twitter with the pack code, because if there is going to be icon a repeatable icon SBC put out into the game. I do not believe that pack code has been end or has not been added to the game yet. At least I don't remember seeing it from Footwatch. Um, so just to keep an eye out for that, if that does come this week, that would definitely cause some panic selling uh, in some areas of the market that could pick up throughout the week. You definitely would see people go in and buy fodder if that was the case. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. But if you're a lot of a lot of people right now are asking about gold cards, right? Like some of the higher rated ones, um, even like this Paul Pugba is down a lot right now, 150,000 coins, I believe, for Pugba. Some of the stuff might rise back up a little bit into the week just because these cards are very meta and people are seeing that they're so low, they're just going to see this price and start to buy, right? Varan was 250 right now. This Pogba on Footbin says 160, uh, but other players like Conte, like Mbappe, Mbappe is back down after squad battle rewards. He is 1.32, 1.31. That is cheap for Mbappe right now. This is like right around his lowest. Van Dijk is 300K. Um, Neymar is still right around a mil. So some of these cards are going to fluctuate up and down. It is a bit risky because they're in packs still. Um, but as I mentioned in yesterday's video, some of the cards that you saw on my transfer list, right? Especially the out of packs cards. They are fluctuating. So I don't think you have to be scared of the market this week. 
I don't think you have to be scared uh, that nobody's going to be buying any cards at all. Just because people can't sit still with coins in their top left. They can't just sit there and not do anything. They're going to do stuff this week. And I do think you're going to see fluctuations on the market. But as you are, as you can see with me, I am quite liquid. I've got some Dumfries here that I put some money into. Uh, and I have some other... I actually have some Promes tonight. I'm watching Promes because... This is one of the most hyped up cards from the new promo. And if you think about it, right, this card tomorrow, people are going to wake up on Monday, maybe have an objective to do, but not really that much to do on the game. And uh, they're going to want to do something, right? So Promise tonight has dropped a, a decent amount with squad battle rewards. Uh, I will pick that up at 240. 240K for this Promise card. You know what? It is risky. I might lose my butt on it tomorrow, but I feel like this card could easily go back to 260, 270. So I'm going to take the chance on it and see what I can do with a little Quincy Promise overnight flip because I think a lot of people are opening their squad battle rewards and their pre-order packs that they're still getting and that's where the supply is coming from for these. Um, but there's a lot of demand for a card like this and people might try them out, which is also why I bought the Dumfries. I've had those since the weekend. One little sneaky buy that I might watch as well. We bought this card last week because people used, uh, they sold this card when they went to do the objective over the weekend and then they bought it back during the week so that they could complete the objectives once again for the U the USA or MLS foundations. This guy last week again went from 37,000 coins to 55K and here he is back down again this weekend at 38,000 coins. Keep a watch on this card. Keep an eye on this card. It is very possible that he could spike back up into the 40K range. He's very rare. This card is very, very rare. If you take a look at the supply here, I think if we go all the way up to like 50K or 45K, so up almost 10K from where he's at. Let's do a little, uh, you know, compare to get all the results in here. The market's going to be glitched, so it'd be easier to check this on PlayStation and stuff. But when I was checking the compare price earlier today, this guy's really rare. So just keep an eye on this card. If you see some undercuts or open bids uh, as we head into the week, this might get some more demand and it could make the card rise as people do again, continue to complete the MLS Foundation's objective. So... That's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. I feel like it's going to be just a lot of people this week. A lot of this week is going to be trying to time the market and when people want to buy their teams. And in all honesty, for me, if it's a low rated gold card, you keep waiting. If it's an out of packs in form, you keep waiting a little bit. Um, but this next week and this next weekend for the out of packs cards, what you're going to see is stuff is going to slightly start to go back up because people are going to get the sense that, hey, this stuff is too low. It's not going to drop anymore. And especially if next week, whatever content comes, once that storm passes and once that, if whatever that's going to come out, whatever it is, once that affects the market right away, then I think you're going to see start stuff out of pack stuff, maybe some icons, really meta cards like Mbappe, Ronaldo, and Neymar start to climb back up because people are going to realize that, hey, Black Friday is coming and, uh, you know, these cards might not get any cheaper after they stayed this cheap for this long. So that's kind of my thoughts for this week's market outlook. It's a crazy market right now, but there's a lot to do in foot, man. You know what? I was just realizing I'm not a huge objective grinder, right? But I didn't play weekly this weekend, so I played a few games, and I'm almost done with this Correa. There are so many objectives out right now. This is a big thumbs up to EA, especially since it's in the objective mode, which is still a bit sweaty, but not that sweaty. Kunde, you've got Silver Stars, the Silver Lounge, the Shea Adams card looks in, uh, really good. Correa looks really good. You've got the Milestone um, MLS cards that are out right now. And I think there's, there's something else that's out too that I'm forgetting. But uh, there's a lot of objectives out right now. So if you haven't had time to grind those, I think you should get into those because there's some pretty decent cards in there, right? So those are my thoughts on the market this week, boys. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.